don't know what pillow really tastes like, guys. So he's just kind of like. You look that for real? Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new here, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what I want you to do, I'm sorry. Oh, you just got here. I'm asking for favors already. Yes. Listen, tell your friend that you found this amazing friend that's on YouTube so we can all be friends. Okay. For my returning subscribers, what's happening? You may already know what this video is going to be about, but before we get into that, I'm just going to give you a little bit of um, updates, right? So, the giveaway. So, it almost seems as though y'all don't want the bag. So, that's fine, though. Um, I've decided to switch it up a little bit, and this is the official announcement, all right? You guys, I am taking away the bag. It's not up no more, and I am offering a $200 prize when I get to 200 subscribers. Now, if you're already subscribed to my channel, you're already ahead of the entire crowd. All you ever have to do is just share my content, continue liking, continue um, commenting, and you're part of the giveaway. You're like probably number one or two. So, help me out, help me out, and I'm gonna help you out. And one thing about me is I'm very generous, and even though I'm saying just flat $200, it may be more. So, uh, with that being said, let's get to food. As a youngster, yes, uh, living in Grenada, right? I hated pilau. Like, I, I, I couldn't. I'm just like, ew, that's disgusting, okay? But today, I want to try it. Now, y'all already know, you know, I'm in an interracial marriage, and Andrews is from Ecuador, so I'm not sure how he's going to stomach that. But the good thing about him is he's chubby, and I say that to say this, um, he don't mind. <laughs> like, he don't mind unless I gave him something before, and he absolutely don't like it, then he won't. So with that being said, I uh, want to get to cooking. Let's get the pot on the stove. What we're going to need is arroz, gandules, not much uh, vegetable stuff because I'm really not into that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That came out wrong. I don't like faux veggies. That's it. And some chicken. Now, I don't have green seasoning, so I'll be kind of freestyling, but this has been sitting here for about 15 minutes. I put cayenne pepper cumin uh thyme side which is green onion and um i forgot how you call it in spanish the other one and what else i put in here oh adobo right that's all that chicken or all purpose seasoning that's what i put in here so we got some chicken winglets and um the only challenge i have right now is using i don't know what kind of rice this is but look well i can't even show you well kind of all right so look the greens in this rice it's kind of thick, but not really. But look at the consistency of the Uncle Ben rice. It's my favorite rice of all time. It's like really big, and I think it has the um, power to not stick together. Like I hate rice that sticks together. Like that's disgusting. I like rice that you can tell it's rice by like counting. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know which one I'm gonna use, but from like for economic sake or resources sake. I'm just gonna use this one uh, because it's supposed to be having a higher expiration than Uncle Ben's. I just bought this the other day. So uh, let's get over to the cooking station. I now believe it's a sin to uh, make pilau in any part except for this one. If you're Caribbean, you know the thing. You know the thing. Right, Y'all, so for this segment, I have the Crisco oil and some brown Let me tell you, I just went in the cupboard, right? And I was like, Lord Jesus, what about I put if I have brown in? I don't burn no sugar because last time I burned sugar, it was super bitter. And that's why he doesn't like um, brown down. <laughs> that's why he doesn't like brown down anymore because I went to his house one time and I made um, brown down for Aulita and him. And I burned the sugar because I didn't have brown in. So he hates it, okay? So I'm putting the pot on right now. Last time I filmed the cooking video, y'all, I used two cameras, and, you know, the footage was good. It was just super duper complicated. So I'm trying to uncomplicate my life. I'm just tell you what I'm doing, and then I'll show you when I think it's worth showing. Capiche? Okay, let's get ready to rumble. 
I don't be in the kitchen that often, so if you see me doing stupid, this is literally because I do not. So don't judge me, please. Thank you. I'm just putting on the, the pot. Put some oil on the dog. I can hear you. I know you just said that I, I, I put too much oil. Chill on me. <laughs> Is that enough? Whatever. So we're just waiting on it to get a little bit hot. Not to the point where it starts popping because I'm going to run and it's going to look real crazy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My stove is electric. So that means it's fast because I can hear stuff like sizzling, right? So what I'm going to do right now is add some of the brown in. It's going to come out good, okay? I trust God. Y'all saw how I started stepping back. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not, I'm not taking chances, y'all. I am too cute to get burned. I am so sorry. This kitchen life ain't for me, yeah. Why is the damn handle hot? It's the pop bottom is on the damn burner. All right, y'all. So I'm heisting this up. I'm sorry. I'm uh, changing the heat high because I have this good to medium. The chicken and them look good. I know you can only see me stirring stuff. Like it could be a hot mess in here and I don't want y'all to see. But it's not. So I'm gonna in quick. Hold on. Right now that's what it looks like. And I think that's what it's supposed to look like for like a second. So I'm gonna cover this down and give it an opportunity to cook and then when it's cooked I'm gonna give it a second um, stir or like simmer and then I'm gonna go ahead and add rice and gandule and things should look all swell. I think I'm putting a little bit more water just to cover the chicken so that it can be able to cook. I just heard you saying that's too much water but I am so sorry. Put it on high, let it so I don't cover the pot because I'm entirely too greedy to allow the food to cook under something that I can't see. So I'm just half staring at the chicken, making sure that it's getting brown enough and just doing what a protector should do, you know? Hell. <laughs> Anyways, this is the rice. I'm about to go wash it. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't be washing rice because I feel like it takes away from the nutrition content, okay? And I know, I know it sounds like crap, and it might be, but it's just me, or laziness, but whatever. I'm gonna wash this rice, okay? Let me show you the amount that I left in the bucket still, and let me know if it makes sense to keep it there. Cause I, as a woman, I, I can't cook every day. I'm so sorry, I don't know how y'all do it, and I understand, and I, I, you know, I'm happy. I got a man who don't complain, cause he got hands, you know? So, I don't think this makes sense to leave in there, but hell, life don't make sense. So, let's just use it. I know you want to see some of the action. So, let me just take you firsthand and what exactly my pot looks like. Let me try to focus some. Oh, so you can see the chicken from what it really is. Delicious! Okay, so you see how the water is brown right I don't think I put enough brown in but I'm gonna put more because I don't want you know my pot stand up I'm gonna want my pot stand up because that's not aesthetically pleasing so I'm gonna leave it right over its ear so I'm gonna let it water dry down for some I'm gonna let it boil for like five more minutes then if it take it out but I don't like how see oh it's um, brown on the outside and this color here so on the inside it tells me that the chicken in a brown oh me want it yet but me can leave it to us my want as long as the cooking the, the chicken cook but 
I don't want it to me. I want everything brown. Tad, pillow for your reason. So, I'm adding in the gandules. Oh, the thing is brown and green. So, don't have to worry about much. To mix it up, mix it up. The chicken and them still fair skin all in, but I have a feeling everything's gonna come together in a little while. What did they? Room wasn't building what? A day exactly. Room was not building a day. So adding in some adobo. I would add more cumin, but I never, I never even knew what cumin was till I came here. I think it's something of the south, so I wouldn't even do that. I'm trying to get that Caribbean feel. But I'm pretty sure there's something else I must add, like a Scotch bonnet pepper. I think I used all of those when I was making my um my pig soup. Well, split pea soup for proper terminology. And but I just add in that. I'm gonna add some salt in the pot too because I don't know how to sit and I don't want to um drink the salt and get turned off and throw out the whole pot because I was not patient enough. So now we have in the gandules and chicken. Let me give you a visual right quick. In the pot, say whatever you want about me, but when it comes to learning, I got it. Okay? So it's stirring up like so, like that, and I'm stop, I'm stopping being greedy, so I'm covering up the pot now. The rice now. My hands are clean, I promise. I'm gonna stir it. I hate this rice, and, and now I'm regretting it. I should have just opened the damn Uncle Ben. Alright. I have a little bit of water, but it's fine, I guess. I'm adding in the sazon from Goya. I know y'all try to get Goya canceled, but it not work. Putting it where I see the most water, I'll just mix it in. The pot handle hot boy. Alright. I really don't like the way this looks, but it's a process. Or I may have to add a little bit more water. Okay, dokie. I'm going in with some iodized salt. And just come from a very salty family, so it wouldn't be me if I don't add a little bit more. <laughs> and then mix that up, mix that up. Like so, like that. You probably don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm mixing it up there. Then, the last of it, I'm going to add some of my pressed pepper to Lola. Oh, it ain't even open. And I'm not opening it. Hold on. This, because I didn't buy a scotch on the pepper. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Just for some, some zing so it doesn't taste bland. I think I may need to add some more water. I'm going ahead and doing that. Ooh. It looked like a lot, but it's not, I promise. And the rice is getting stuck to the bottom of the pot. I can feel it. But this one, it look like boiling. It don't look that bad. Maybe I'm over exaggerating, but this is it for now guys i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of ketchup I actually added some uh, butter to the pot for the rice don't stick together and i added a little bit more brown meal so we can get that pale lao. you know what i'm saying i don't want white lao. i want pale lao. And I added a little bit more water so that it can have an opportunity to cook because it is drying out entirely too fast. But uh, it's coming to come. Y'all, don't don't leave. Stick around. It's coming to come. 
you want to use this as a tutorial, I will have in the description everything that I used and in the order that I used it. So that it's easy for you to make this easy peasy this that's going to take only one hour. So you can make sure you submit it to the other instead of feeding him chicken and chips every day. Thank me later. Simmer, simmer, simmer. And uh, I'm gonna catch you when it's done. We're gonna be eating together. Eating. Drum roll, please. Are you ready to see the final product? Nah, I'm not gonna show you. What am I showing you for? I'm not gonna show you. No, I'm joking. Okay. Let me take you. I'm a, you wanna go there? Alright, I'm gonna take you there. <laughs> I've been on TikTok too much. Alright, look. Ta-da! Put this over there. Get into it, get into it, get into it. Hello. Focus you. There it is. I don't really like this, but it's part of cooking. And uh, honestly, I hate the rice that I used. Okay, I try my best. And you know what they say? My best was good enough. But, I wouldn't be me if I didn't do a taste check. So I have to eat this and show you my natural and honest reaction. I'm eating it with you. <laughs> All right. Get closer. It definitely don't taste like the one from my childhood because there are other ingredients that was incorporated that I didn't have in my house. So I improvised and I like it. I'm getting Creole uh, rice. I'm getting a Spanish taste. It's good. It's real good. Andrews isn't here at the moment, so when he gets home, I'm going to ask for his feedback. And I'm definitely going to type it in on one of the clips so you can see exactly how he liked it. 10 out of 10 for me. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. So I can take it in. Mm. All right, guys. This is my end and final product. I will see you. You didn't cook that. I did. There's no way. If you cook that, you gotta cook more often now. And if I cook it more often, this did this why I don't cook. How you did this? What? All you gotta do is say that once out. Yeah. <laughs> ah! He probably don't know what pillow really tastes like so he's just kinda like You cook that for real? No, Andrew. I bought Your mom did that, right? No, she didn't. I did. Cow. I'm serious. That was you? 9 out of 10. It's Jesus. Why is it 9? Because you didn't get like a salad, like a, a potato salad. Wow, would have been fire. Fire. But you lack it sometimes. Well, that's, that's my girl right there. Let me tell you. You just doing that because y'all on camera, y'all. I'm telling you. A <laughs> potato salad, you can't tell me that one of them right now. Nice. A uh, potato salad, a macaroni salad, or something. Anyway, salad. Anyways, guys, you heard it from the goat. <laughs> I told you I was going to type it in on one of the clips, but I'm sorry. He came and he didn't even wash his hand. He just picked up the spoon and talked about this for me? No. No, it's for Dick. And don't forget about Harry. All right, guys. Without further ado, I'm hoping to see you in my next video. Goodbye.